Hey guys, it's John with Pitchbox, and today I'm going to show you how to run a website import campaign. Uh, you're going to want to run this type of campaign when you have a list of websites that you wish to reach out to, uh, or a list of referring domains for a competitor. Now there are several ways you can go about this. Uh, you can either come to this text area right here and copy and paste your list directly, or for the purpose of this video, we're going to do a CSV import. Now I want you to notice the document for which you plan to import has to be a CSV file. CSV stands for Comma Separated Value File. So if your document is saved as such, you should be able to view it in a plain text editor, much like this. And you'll notice that the columns are separated by commas. If your document has anything other than commas separating each value, you're not going to be able to import this. Now if you notice the Excel document here, uh, my list contains other information besides just websites. Uh, when you want to upload anything other than websites, you're going to want to go with the CSV option. And keep in mind that any additional fields beyond the URL list will be added as personalization fields, of which you have the option to use within your templates later. Now the next step is going to be to choose your file, select the domain import, import. Uh, now, once the document is imported, if you click on these fields, you can see a preview of the information to help you map the columns correctly. Now we notice that this contains our URL list, so we're going to say contains URL list. And any other information that you wish to use later, you can also import. And that'll become a personalization field. If you wish, there's also the option to refine the sites that you import by setting quality filters. So if you're looking for opportunities within a specific range of authority or whatnot, uh, you can feel free to set this information here. Thanks for listening, guys.